welcome to cartwheels. <laughs> so for cartwheels, things that you could be working on at home. Um, so if you saw our handstand video, we did a lot of lunges and levering to the letter T shape. Um, that's important um, for cartwheels as well, but we're gonna show you a different way, doing it sideways um, to practice transferring weight over and the flexibility it takes for a cartwheel. So she's gonna tip sideways, back and forth. This is called our cartwheel rock. She's gonna try a few on one side, um, and then she's gonna turn around and try the other way too, because you actually need to use this in the beginning and end of your cartwheel, and you start by going into it with one leg and coming out with the other, obviously. Um, all right, so next, she's gonna come over here to our little red mat, um, and sometimes it's tough just to figure out which hand to put in front or which foot to put in front for your cartwheel. So she's just gonna put her hands down on the, on the red mat sideways. She's gonna practice jumping back and forth over the top and try to figure out which way feels better to her. If she still can't figure it out with her legs bent, she's gonna, yep, try to do a little bit bigger straddles and see which way feels more comfortable. You know which way feels better for you? This way. Going that way? All right, so that means Miss Molly likes to put her left foot in front. So if you have something to mark your left foot, you can always put a stamp or draw an X on your, <gasps> that's beautiful. You can put a scrunchie or anything like that to mark which foot you start with in front. So whichever foot you start with in front is gonna be closest to your cushion or pillow or whatever you decide to use here. She's gonna put one foot in front and her hands are gonna go sideways. She's gonna jump her toes over in a straddle. Oh no, Ugh. she put the wrong hand down first. So this happens a lot because um, cartwheels are confusing. So whichever first, um, foot you put in front for your cartwheel, you should also be putting that same hand down first as well. So we have another thing to mark her left side of her body so she remembers which hand and which foot goes down first. She's gonna have her left foot in front, left hand in front, and try to kick those toes all the way over. Very nice. So the more and more comfortable you get with that, the bigger your kicks can be. And it's okay if they're not very big right now. Um, even the smallest jump over, that's still a cartwheel. We're building on that, right? All right, very nice, Miss Molly. So next we're gonna take you over to the wall, um, which you see we have some tape up on the wall. You can do that at home, um, or if you have chalk or anything like that or you don't have to mark up your walls, um, that's fine too. <laughs> we just did it for a visual. So over here we're gonna do our Spider-Man walk-in. So walk in, our hands are gonna be down on the floor. Walk those toes all the way up and over the rainbow, the cartwheel, the same way that you go. So she's a lefty, right, for her cartwheels. That's why she started on that side. But for a righty, you would just start on the other way. It doesn't hurt you to help, um, it doesn't hurt you to practice going both directions either. Um, and if you watched our handstand video earlier, I know we have these hands on the floor, but if you want, you could always cut out or trace hands onto pieces of paper and put them down to help you out. Now, if that is too easy for you, then you can try kicking all the way up to a side handstand, whoop, and using that wall, and then trying to walk your toes all the way back down. And the most advanced version of this is just doing a cartwheel up by the wall with your belly towards it. Very nice. I don't know if you saw that, but there's a handstand in the middle of every single cartwheel. That's one of the most important skills in gymnastics. So next we're gonna come over here, we have our line. And up on our line there's some feet, uh, hands, and some other feet. So we figured out that Miss Molly is a lefty, so we have these feet here, and we have the left foot right in front. So she's gonna do her lunge on our line with her left foot in front. Look at that lay right in front. And those hands should be facing the correct direction. She's gonna reach her hands for the floor and try to kick her toes all the way over to the other side. Very nice. Now, sometimes when we try that, our feet end up getting a little bit confused. Hers landed on the right spot. But Molly, could you just show me what that would look like if we accidentally kicked the wrong foot over the top? So she has the right foot in front. The left foot or the correct foot? <laughs> correct foot, I'm sorry. Her left foot, the correct foot, in front. She's gonna kick all the way over. But she wants to finish in her lunge again, so she put that lay right in front. Our goal, is actually to finish in a right leg lunge. So we'll try one more really nice cartwheel where she starts at the beginning with her left foot in front and her goal when she lands is to finish with that lay behind her. She's gonna hide it on her feet. Very nice cartwheel, good. Now the more and more you practice, the more you will be better at landing right back on that line. But this is just for today. We have over here our cartwheel tunnel, I guess. Not really a tunnel, but we um, have some blocks here, which you could use couch cushions, you could rearrange like little pieces of furniture, things like that that are soft probably. Um, and she's gonna try to do her cartwheel through the middle, putting her left hand down first, all the way through and all the way up. 
Now that was too easy for her. She's gonna build her tunnel a little bit taller. She's even gonna add a friend on top to watch her and try really hard not to kick him down. Ah. All right, ready? Here she goes, she's gonna do a big lunge. That means her front foot's in front, arms are up tall, big kick all the way over through without knocking down her friend. Very nice, Miss Molly. Um, <laughs> um, if you guys are able to do your cartwheels already, some other things that you can be working on at home is, again, cartwheels on a line. Um, you could draw that with chalk outside even. Um, or you could be doing one-arm cartwheels, trying to practice with one arm. Whoa, if that's too easy for you. Those are pretty tricky, I don't know. You could try your other hand, that's a little trickier, using your, using your not favorite hand. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, or the last one that you can do safely at home inside is our cartwheel step-in. Trying to step those feet together and arms come all the way up tall. Very nice. If you have space outside, <laughs> you can work on your round-offs as well. Um, but if not, just stick to those cartwheel basics. Are you going to show us a round-off? Sure. Ready? Oh, you can use a run and a hurdle if you'd like. Or just from standing. <laughs> Beautiful finish.